Hey there. Well, I'm recording this part first, well, last, <laughs> but you're seeing it first, because the first part of this video, the first five minutes of this video were lost, because this camera sometimes has this thing where I'll record, and it'll show recording, but it doesn't show a count up, which means it's not actually recording. So I was just talking about these, these shoes um, as a replacement for the Birkenstocks that I have, that I was usually wearing. I've had the Birkenstocks for almost two years, and they never fit right from the start. In the late 90s, Birkenstock decided to stop making wide shoes. They, they don't, you know, you can't get the regular Arizona sandals in wide sizes. So, um, I got a, a loan from my mother to get these. Uh, I went to <laughs> countless places between North Seattle and here to try to find some wide sandals, and they're very hard to come by. And then it ended up, there's just this SAS store here in Tacoma that had them. And, uh... I had hurt my feet really bad uh, recently, where size 11, uh, 10 and a half, 11, uh, and triple E width, I've, I've worn really wide shoes for a long time, but I guess they're harder to come by. Even when you try to get regular shoes, um, wide wide sizes are hard to find. They Most stores just don't carry them anymore, which is weird. You find really big sizes. I mean, I've seen places regularly carry like size 16, but wide? No. So, I've got these, and I'm amazed at how much more I can walk in them without foot pain. It ends up most of those issues I was having before had to do with my damn shoes. So, anyway, here upcoming is the actual video minus the first five minutes that never got recorded. Okay, that wasn't looking like 60 frames a second. Why wasn't it looking like 60 frames a second? That was weird. Well, must have been a fluke or something. But, uh, These are expensive shoes. My feet are heaters. I need open toe shoes, and this is even before I got heavy enough that it's more of a pain to tie shoes. A little bitty obstacle course here. Um. Yeah, my feet are heaters. I wear sandals in 32 degree weather. <laughs> Hold on a second here. All right. So yeah. Squirrel. Maybe you're able to see that, maybe you weren't. Um I had talked with uh Agent of Doubt the night that I really hurt my feet. And uh There is this condition that can happen with someone's calves that he had described, but I'm glad, at least so far, that doesn't seem to be what it was. So, a boss, and yet it was, 10 to nabulation, 21, 21, oh, to vote again. <laughs> That was a, uh, 
that was part of an Ernie Kovacs skit where he was <laughs> making this faux interview with some poet who took a couple years to <laughs> write some <laughs> very random sounding poems. And uh, I don't know, I love Ernie Kovacs. Great stuff. County Fair, Hoedown, When Day is Done. It's this art exhibit. <laughs> but, uh, good stuff. Ernie Kovacs is good stuff. K O V A C S. So, just a moment. All right. But yeah, these, these shoes came in wide, which was great. Went all the way to North Seattle to try to find uh, a place that carried decent wide shoes like that, sandals, with a good arch support, and <laughs> ran into nothing, and then there's this store right in Tacoma, SAS Shoes, and there they were. <laughs> so, I sleep with my feet out of the covers. If I remember at a hotel, First thing I do is untuck the covers from the back so I can stick my feet out. <laughs> I remember going skiing once. I've only been skiing once. It's not my thing, but I tried it. And the person I was with was like, man, my feet are ice cubes. And they had <laughs> like three layers of socks and their feet were ice cubes. I, <laughs> I just had the one, the one regular pair, and I'm like, oh, my feet are burning. And they're like, what? I don't believe you. So we get back to the vehicle, and I took off the ski boots, and it was just steam, just massive amounts of steam. <laughs> car door was open, but there was so much steam, it almost instantly fogged up the windows in the vehicle. <laughs> you know? So, just kind of a funny memory.
I'm gonna adjust this steady cam so it's pointing down a little bit more. There we go. Last year, last year, this water was so polluted with some toxic algae that it was completely cloudy. There's no way you could see to the bottom, and it looked like looked like milk had been poured throughout it, <laughs> chocolate milk. So nice that it's a lot better now. Sometimes have to wonder what it is that caused all of that. Up, oh, bump the camera. Oh man, these shoes are so much better. Bump the camera. Let's uh, move this up a little again, shall we? All right. Mm, it might be still a little too high. There we go. Yep, keep bumping the cam, the steady cam. This is a nice, refreshing walk. Wind on my belly.
this was a <laughs> this was a nudist area, it would definitely be nude. <laughs> and that's too bright. Light bright, making things with light. In my last video regarding masculinity, I didn't talk about some of the negative tendencies even with without the machoistic thing to masculinity. And I probably should have. And these things are the, some of the other positive traits about femininity. And that's... Our women are a lot more able to express their feelings besides anger without being given a hard time. And now the camera is tilting up for some reason, and I need to lower that. There we go, that's better. When I still had Misty, I would take her to this lake. It's a pretty cool place. camera is whining at me about heat, so... Someone wants to get through. Here you go. Thank you. Sure thing. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, how are you? Doing good. The seat, lift the seat. Lift from the seat. Hold on. Okay, got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Sure thing. This camera's bound to say, I'm getting too hot and at any moment, because it's got that little yellow indicator, so... 
Man, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes on my back. I think mosquitoes are going to be extra bad this year. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Actually, really good. And if I would have been wearing the regular Birkenstocks right now, oh my God, <laughs> I would have had to have stopped <laughs> at least eight times for my feet hurting. I didn't think the shoes were gonna make that much of a difference. I used to swear by Birkenstocks. I did. But, uh, and you know, if you have regular feet, they're still probably pretty good shoes. But, uh, I don't, I've got foot problems. Always have, so. and my current weight doesn't help. <laughs> Once I passed probably about 240 or so, my feet got even wider, and the Burks were no longer really the right shoes, but I kept wearing them, so. And her shoes were number nine. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if the last take took. So I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I wish some people would... I wish more people knew about the charcoal chimneys for barbecues. Breathing in all that lighter fluid is nasty. It's not healthy. Those little charcoal chimneys, you just put newspaper or paper or whatever and the charcoal and light it from the bottom and wait a while and then pour it into the barbecue. 